channel. I am here again with another thrift haul. I have been getting over uh, a pretty uh, rough cold, so I have been dealing with fatigue, so I've only been going to thrift shops and a few estate sales, um, just little trips. So I haven't done a really big, fun antiquing um, trip recently, but I have enough stuff around me that it's time to share with you some of the treasures I have found. Some beautiful pieces to decorate my home. And also I have sourced some lovely items to bring to either my Etsy store or a live sale here on YouTube. So let's get started. Um, I will go back to two weeks ago when I went to an estate sale uh, at a town home. So it wasn't a big place. I did get some footage, so I will include some of that in here while I share the items that I found. I went to this specific estate sale to look for uh, a crystal pitcher that I saw in the photos. I think they make beautiful vases. And uh, ever since I inherited my grandmother's, which is a little bit of a shorter one, I have been wanting a couple more because I just thought they would be beautiful if I had uh, a trio, just a small collection. I went straight up stairs. I found where the picture was. Um, it was $15 at the estate sale. And I do think this could be American Brilliant period, known for just their quality and their, they're highly valued. So I do think this could be one of those. I might have to get some footage um, of it in the window so you can see how stunning the design is. So now that I have this third picture, I feel like my obsession um, has been fed. I feel like I don't need any more crystal pitchers or vases. Um, famous last words, right? <laughs> but uh, this one I do think is really special. I'm, I'm glad that I grabbed it. Um, the design really is gorgeous. So picked this up for $15 for myself to add to my home decor. At that same sale, I grabbed a few items that um, were impulse buys, the best of which was this little basket of butter um, paddles or butter spatulas. This basket was $10 for the lot. And usually I see pieces like this at antique stores or I saw one at the extravaganza um, for between 12 and like $20 um, for just one of these. So even though I wasn't particularly looking for any more of these, I have one in my kitchen. I thought that the $10 for the lot was just too good a price not to grab them. I will probably just keep them as a new collection. And they're great, whether you like primitive, whether you like American farmhouse, whether you like French country like me, or whether you like English cottage like me, or old world like me too. <laughs> old utensils like this will fit in any of those styles of home decor. So these would be great, whether in a crock or hang them on the wall. I just thought that I should grab these for the $10 price. So I did. That house also had a spoon collection, those souvenir spoons, and I took a look at them and I ended up grabbing these adorable little berry spoons. Uh, I think I'm just gonna keep them for teaspoons to have when I'm having um, tea. I think I'm in the mood for summer already. I just, I was in the mood for berries, some summer berries, blackberries and strawberries. Two for a dollar, so grabbed those and I did also grab in the basement there was Christmas and I did grab a little Santa mug so I will put the footage in of me grabbing one of those there were two mugs but I only grabbed the one where the Santa had his eyes closed um, I thought it was the cutest and so that I don't have up here to show you but um, you'll see it in the footage it's already packed away in a Christmas box and that was everything I grabbed at that estate sale. And then that same day, I went to a Goodwill that was nearby. 
and I found a very large um, floating shelf. Um, this is one of those reproduction uh, floating shelves made to look like the Italian style. Uh, beautiful acanthus leaf design. I didn't care that it was a repro because I really thought the paint finish was done nicely. I love the dark bronze uh, paint detail they put on it. So it looks nice and it was only $9. Um, so between the design and the darker paint finish, I thought that I would grab it for um, my peer mirror. Now that means I have to um, say goodbye to the little bowl I have under there. So I bought this to be a replacement. Um, we'll see if it, I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna look great. Um, we'll see what you guys think and see if uh, this is too big for it. That's my only concern is if um, this might be just a smidge too big in proportion, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna give it a shot and we'll see if we like it. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to grab an item, especially if it's under $10. So I approve, I approve if it's within the budget. Um, it's okay to uh, switch items out uh, when you find uh, a really pretty piece that you would like to bring into your home. At a different estate sale on a different day, I found some more pieces um, for resale. I found a pair of really pretty cash po. I believe it was called heirloom or something. <laughs> Let's see. Heirloom by Toyo. Heirloom by Toyo. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. But uh, not old, made in China. But beautiful, right? I mean, beautiful porcelain uh, cash po pair. And out oh, here. So they, the design is the same on this side, but on their alternate sides, they are different. So that design is very different from that design. So I do think these were meant to be a pair and they were amazing price. I got them for $20 for both. So at $10 each, I thought these were too stunning not to bring to a future um, sale, maybe in the spring. I mean, they are a little big. So if, if nobody wants to grab them at a live sale, I'm definitely gonna put these in my Etsy shop. I think they're gorgeous, uh, really nicely done. Um, the painting on it is beautiful, the hell handles. I just think they're gorgeous. So loved these. And that same sale had some beautiful home decor. Okay, they had <laughs> this little um, Sirocco or Home Co shelf again, but this is definitely in more of the French style. And uh, I had to grab it. I think I will bring this to a future sale when I'm going to do a French theme. And this was, I think about six, seven, right around there. Uh, but so cute. Uh, you can't have enough shelves like this. I think the other piece that I'm going to bring to a sale will be this awesome Hollywood Regency era, but again, made it to look like an older brass Victorian clock and what's so great about this is this little shelf in here so not only is it adorable little tiny mantel clock or bookshelf clock but because of this little ledge right in here it makes a perfect easel so i grabbed a cabinet card and um like a a horizontal uh kind of like a five by seven ish size. Doesn't that make a great easel? Finding brass easels like this is so difficult and they're not cheap. So I thought whether um, someone wants this to use uh, as an easel or a clock or both, uh, it's like a twofer. So this one uh, I grabbed for I think it was $12, but had to have it. 
Uh, I love it, but that I will also bring to um, probably the French themed sale. So I found some good items for um, resale and sourcing, and that's good. But I think most of the rest of the items <laughs> I bought for me. So I went to an antique store. I went to Homestead Antiques just this past Saturday, and it was snowing, so I didn't stay super long, but I found some great things. I picked up this, and this is absolutely antique. It is marked quadruplate uh, on the um, under lip of the piece. It has age um, on the mirror, but that's what we love about it. $39, so $40, and it has marvelous details. So I have been regretting not picking up uh, one that I saw in Round Top that was, I think it was about $60, but it was a little bit bigger, so it would have been hard to pack. Um, but man, I have been regretting not picking that one up because these are harder and harder to come by at a good price. So at the $40, I really wanted to grab this. I didn't want to walk away from this at the antique shop. So I took her home for a cloche base. I'm definitely keeping this. Also, I am keeping this. Uh, isn't this just so cool? This is solid brass uh, made in Italy. Uh, that was a little bit of a surprise because a lot of times these pieces I see are usually made in Korea or made in India. Uh, but this one is made in Italy and it's just beautiful heraldic uh, eagle symbol really nicely done it was ten dollars i think this would be perfect in my house it it just fits it fits that old world style that i love and uh, maybe this will end up being mr agenda's trinket dish gosh darn it you guys my camera overheated so i'm picking up where i left off an hour ago and i was showing you my last finds at homestead antiques which was a pair of brass candlesticks. And I absolutely loved them. And when I saw the price, they were $9 for the pair. Um, that is a thrift store price. So very happy to see that at an antique store. And I loved the design on them. The fact that their base is very wide and the weight, they're extremely heavy means that it is going to be hard to tip over. And I do like that in a candlestick, uh, a nice wide base so that it's not easily knocked. And then the lines, just the classic lines of the full shape. Love these so much. Now these, I don't think I can get these up. I think I'm gonna have to find some other candlesticks in my house and either replace them or just find an extra spot for these, squeeze in another pair of candlesticks. I think I have a problem. I love candlesticks too much, you guys. I love them so hard not to pick up when you find a beautiful pair. Couldn't, I couldn't say no. Look at the patina. I mean, just that aged brass finish. Yummy, yummy, yummy love these so much so i got them i brought them home now i just need to find a home for you guys the last things i wanted to share with you was my most recent thrift store visit at mile high i went on the half price day which is always really crazy but i picked up four of these crystal bowls they were five dollars each but with the half off it was 250 so once you throw tax in there, we'll just round it out and say, uh, I've got about $3 in each of these bowls. And so with a set of four, I think they could be wonderful little salad bowls. Uh, if I wanted to have a fancy salad bowl option uh, for guests, not that I entertain that much, but uh, I thought that could be a great use or I could do a project with these. Now, I don't know when I'll be able to get to it, 
uh, because I'm going to be traveling very soon. But I was thinking these could be wonderful candidates because it's such a low price point. I could go ahead and make some clean burning candles out of these. I have never made a soy wax candle before, so that could be a fun project, um, figuring out what scent to make them. But wouldn't these be pretty as a really large candle? Like I could put three wicks in there and that would be such a pretty gift. Oh, I just think that'd be wonderful. So yeah, I got the four of them. Uh, whatever their destiny ends up being, we shall see. But I'm going to be traveling to visit my daughter and she lives outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. I have not visited Chattanooga before, so it's gonna be a fun adventure for me. I'm hoping to get some great video thrifting and antiquing, so I'm really looking forward to that and taking you guys along with me. So stay tuned. The next video you guys watch should be me in Tennessee with my daughter, Sky. Uh, we'll see how much she lets me film of her, but can't wait to go explore that area. And until I see you in Chattanooga, take care of yourselves, everyone, and bye for now. My God. Standing in line at the estate sale was horrific. Everybody got heated about their place in line and the numbers and who got numbers um, in a not fair way. It was very heated out there, uh, very uncomfortable. I kept my head down, uh, just uh, waiting for a fight to break out. It was literally that bad. So I, I didn't turn on the camera as I was walking in. Um, I was just trying to uh, be invisible. <clears throat> you guys did not get to see this little bear. I found him at the end. He's uh, it was seven dollars, but look at how cute he is with his little pantaloon uh, pants. So a very cute old bear. And also by the checkout were some tiny little antique books. And these are $5 each. Uh, one of them is a little Bible. And this little sweet one with the marbling paper on the cover. Let's see. This is old. This is very old. Look at the foxing. Wow. It looks like a children's book. But look at all of the foxing and aging on this. Um, it's, it's very uh, appealing if you like the worn look. Uh, probably not for a book collector, but for a display piece or even just for a book stack. Look at the top. So that was a win just from um, the exterior. Uh, it has leather on the binding. Uh, great little book.